The United Nations has appealed for $166 million in aid to combat the Kenyan drought. The UN says three years of poor rains have triggered a national disaster in the country, with 2.6 million people hungry, critical rates of child malnutrition and devastating livestock deaths. It also says that more than 350,000 children, pregnant women and new mothers are acutely, are acutely malnourished, with malnutrition rates above 30% double the emergency threshold in three northern counties. The UN has warned that the world faces the largest humanitarian crisis since the end of World War II, with millions facing starvation and farming. In the Central African Republic, President Faustin Ashanje Tuadera has made his first visit to Bambari since he was elected in February 2016. The visit is highly symbolic because the city located northeast of the capital, Bongi, is still threatened by several armed groups of the former Salika rebel coalition. They are now fighting amongst themselves for the control of the region, which is rich in minerals. The United Nations Special Representative to the CAR, Perfect Ananga Ayanga, and Mark Diop, Vice President of the World Bank for Africa, also visited Rambari together with the President. The United Nations peacekeeping mission in the CAR, MINUSCA, has reinforced its troops in Bambari in recent weeks. The peacekeepers already had to intervene several times to prevent attacks and to neutralize armed groups. Naval forces from the semi-autonomous region of Pontland in Somalia have engaged in a gunfire with pirates who hijacked an oil tanker holding a Sri Lankan crew hostage. The Director General of the Maritime Force, Abdurrahman Hassan, says forces tried to intercept a boat that was carrying food supplies to the hijackers, but the pirates on board the tanker fired at the naval forces and the supply boat escaped. The Iris-13 tanker is anchored near the coastal town of Alula. The ship sent out a distress signal on Monday saying it was being approached by high-speed boats.